What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, more Fictional Fights updates, and this is possibly the biggest update Fictional Fights will ever have. Now first of all, you remember a, a couple Sundays ago, on my birthday, I asked you guys, who would you want to bring back to Fictional Fights? And it was actually closer than I thought. I avoided counting votes for more than two people because I couldn't tell who the voter wanted more, so... That kind of messed it up a little bit. But down to the people who only voted for one character, these are the results. In second place is Ryu Hoshi from Street Fighter. But tied for first place was Danny Phantom and Son Goku. So what are we going to do for a tie? Well, Danny starts with a D and Goku starts with a G. D comes before G in the alphabet, so I guess Danny comes first. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Don't dislike. Goku's coming back too. They're both coming back. They tied, so it's only fair if they both come back. Danny and Goku are back in fictional fights. Now, 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 before you groan and go, Ugh, you're just gonna make him fight Superman. And then he's gonna lose. Again. I refuse to do a Goku versus Superman battle. Do you know why? Kaioken times 10! Super Saiyan Blue Goku times 10 power far surpasses both Saitama and pro-abortion Superman. I mean post-crisis Superman. But pre-crisis still obliterates Goku or whatever, so yeah, that's out of the question. So, who do you want Goku to fight? And while you do that, let's look at some questions. Now the video's already going on a bit longer than anticipated, so I'll only focus on one comment which has, uh, quite a few questions. Would you ever use Death Battle Fan on to help with research? <laughs> no. Any website that falls for Ganondorf's No Limits fallacy is a no-go in my book. <laughs> which battle was the most fun to make? Little Mac vs. Epo. I had so much fun replaying my favorite Nintendo game, and so much fun watching one of my favorite animes. It was just a great time, and the Machinima wasn't that much of garbage, like some other episode we just did. <laughs> Were there any fights I did that I changed my mind on later after it aired? And uh, no, none, no really important ones. Just um, you know, Google versus Otama. <laughs> Next question. Could Dan solo all of the multiverses if he didn't try? I don't know who Dan is. <laughs> um, next question? Is Jimmy Rex a good character? Well, that Jimmy Rex certainly dusts my doilies. <laughs> now after this commenter, we got one more question from Jon Snow. What are your future plans for fictional fights? And this is where the gigantic, super important update part comes in. It's time for a sk 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 schedule change! Uh, let me explain how this is gonna go down. So, usually, we have one episode every three weeks, just like some other show that we're not trying to copy. Oopsies. This is a problem for two reasons. One, we're trying to separate ourselves from that other show. And two, some of the fights aren't worth waiting for. Like, who on earth watched Ty vs. Crash? No one! So we'll resolve this by... Sticking to our three-week schedule and not changing it one bit. Except adding more episodes in between. Now, here's how this is gonna happen. One big fight that everyone is wondering about every three weeks. And then... Oh, however many number of episodes I decide in between, unscheduled, just smaller fights that I want to do on my own. For example, lots of you are probably waiting for Akuma vs. Ganondorf, but we have to go through Toon Link vs. Spike, and then a couple other battles before we get to that, which would take months. But thanks to the schedule, it's now shortened to just six weeks away. So the big fights that everyone wants to see will stick to that three-week schedule, but the smaller ones that no one really cares about except for me will kind of be done unscheduled whenever I feel like it. So Spike vs. Toon Link could come after the next battle, or before the next battle I'm planning. Now before I get to that next battle, let's talk about Akuma vs. Ganondorf. It is the only Fictional Fights episode to be delayed, and the reason why is because we actually have an animation! Dun dun dun! The talented Alex303 will be animating Akuma vs. Ganondorf for us. If you don't know who he is, here's a quick example of his amazing work. Boom! Woo! 
that was hot fire, wasn't it? He's such a talented animator, and I wish I could do what he does. So, now that you're caught up to speed on what's been going on with the Kuma vs. Ganondorf, what's this mysterious next fight that I've been hinting at throughout this entire update? Toon Link vs. Spike could be coming before it or after it. It all depends whenever I feel like it because of the new schedule. So, in three weeks, we shall be seeing... <sighs> Okay.